With a recent AAA report putting the number of holiday drivers at a potential record high this year, you or someone you know may be driving to unfamiliar places. So Tulsa attorney Lashandra Peoples Johnson from Johnson Cephas Law joins me once again, this time to talk about what to do, heaven forbid, if you're involved in a car crash or some other things that happen to you on the road. Good morning, Lashandra. Good morning. You know, it's, it's hard to talk about, but it's something that's important to talk about because again, unfamiliar places, um, the stress of the holidays, this is something we need to talk about. Yes. And so when do accidents happen? Where are they? Give us kind of some of the stats of when they happen, when they're the most likely to happen. Yes, so the Oklahoma Department of Public Transportation actually states that car accidents most likely happen between 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. And they contribute that to traffic and also the fatigued drivers. Say you get up and go to the gym in the morning, work a full day, pick up your children, go watch them at T-ball, then you're fatigued and you may not be as alert as you should be. And then when it comes to timing, summer is actually when most car accidents occur. However, the fall holiday season is a close set. Second, and that's really? what we're approaching. That's Thanksgiving travel, Christmas, and then those holiday parties where you may be consuming alcohol or maybe coming home late. Right, so there's just a lot to think about. I wanna talk specifically about car wrecks. So if you've been involved in one, again, I mean, it can be so hard to talk about, especially if you're imagining if your loved one is in the car when you get in a car crash, what should we do? Whether we're at fault, potentially, or whether we're just totally innocent. What are, what are the steps we should take? So that's a very good question. I actually just had a family member who had never been in a car wreck, got yeah. into one and had no clue how to handle it. So there are five key things you should do. So the first one is seek medical attention if needed. And that's important because you want to make sure that you're not injured, but also a lot of times your adrenaline's high and you get home and you start feeling, you know, pain that you didn't feel at the scene. And so go see your primary care physician. And it's also important if you want the insurance to cover any of these injuries, they want to make sure one, that you actually were injured right. and two, that you're following any treatment plan your physician set out. You also want to call the police. The police will come, they'll assess it, they'll do a report, but then it's also important to know that you cannot leave the scene. It's right. actually a, against the law to leave the scene of an automobile accident. So you want to stay there until the police come. And this is going to be the same whether, again, you're at fault or whether you are innocent. Uh, call the insurance company. It's something that uh, some, sometimes I would imagine kind of gets forgotten in the heat of the moment. Yes. Because you need to call police. You need, if you need medical help, you need medical help. But you got to call the insurance. Yes, and then gather evidence. Get information from witnesses. Take your own pictures. That can really come in handy. And then if you need help navigating through um, any kind of insurance policies or any kind of insurance claims, or if you, as a result, have some legal proceedings, then you may want to consult with an attorney. Yeah, that's that's great advice. What are some of the pieces of evidence that, you, that, what, that clients will come to you and, oh, I wish I would have had this from the scene or taken this picture or done this? What are some of those what ifs? So names of witnesses, like mm. you can get into a accident whether you're at fault or not and you want the, to get that other perspective. A lot of times those people are gone, it's hard to track them down if you don't get their information that day. And then also having those pictures and information on the officer, their report number, their ID number, all that stuff comes in handy. Try to get the badge number if yes. you can. And some of the scenes are going to be involved like this and some of them may not. But if it's on an interstate, it can get hectic. So just really, really stay safe as well. Um, I wanted to talk also about just what are the simple things? Simple things that we can do to avoid accidents so it never comes to this and we can avoid these car crashes. A lot of it comes to timing and planning and just being focused. So for instance, one of the main causes is bad weather. And if you know there's bad weather, you want to make sure you plan and leave it enough time that you can drive safely on the road. Another cause is um, distracted driving or just not having your attention on the road. That's also important. Luckily, our phones these days have different things where you can silence calls coming in and different things to help you stay focused while you're driving. Yeah. Um, another factor is trying to speed through traffic signals or speeding. Those two things are like high causes of accidents. But if, again, if you have time and you plan out your trip, then you're able to drive safely. And then lastly, you know, drunk driving or driving under the influence of any kind of drugs. If you know you're gonna go to that holiday party, then Uber there, enjoy yourself and Uber back home safely. Right, just just keep it, just keep it sober if you're gonna be driving at all times and yes. it doesn't matter how much. Uh, the last thing, so I wanted to ask this. So this is interesting because obviously people are coming into town. Yes. So if you get in a crash, and you are required to make an court appearance in another state, you still have to go. You have to make arrangements, and that's part of the whole stress of it, is if something happens in another state, 
you also have to make arrangements for that too. Yes, and a lot of times an attorney can navigate through that. There are different things depending on what the accident is and who's at fault, et cetera, that you can make special accommodations to appear virtually thanks to COVID. Right. A lot of courts do have um, the option to appear virtually, but either way, most likely you're right. You do have to be there. So that's really important because again, if, God forbid you get in an accident in Texas or Florida or Louisiana, someplace you don't live you maybe don't maybe you there is a virtual option so i think that's really important to keep in mind with an attorney yes. lishandra thank you so much for coming in today thank you for having me